All right, so in this example, we're going to find the coordinates of a hole in the graph if it exists for our rational function x cubed minus 125 over x squared minus 25. So kind of a couple different ways you can go about uh, thinking about this. Uh, one way to do it is to factor the numerator and denominator and look for common factors. Okay, so I'm actually going to do that. So the denominator, that's a difference of perfect squared squares. Um, x squared minus 25, we can write that as x minus 5 times x plus 5. And recall there's also a formula for the difference of perfect cubes, x cubed minus 125. There's a formula. And notice we can write x cubed minus 125. We could write that as x cubed minus 5 to the third power. Okay, So x to the third power minus 5 to the third power. And in case you've forgotten, um, there is the difference of perfect cubes formula. So if you have a quantity cubed minus a quantity cubed, we take, uh, so x cubed minus y cubed, we have x minus y uh, times x squared plus x times y plus y squared. So in our formula, all we need to do is just replace the y with positive 5. So, so if we replace the y with positive 5, we would get, well, x minus 5 then we would have x squared, we would have uh, x times 5, or 5x, plus 5 squared, or 25. Okay, so I'm going to throw that in the numerator. x minus 5 over x squared plus 5x plus 25. And now this is kind of the, uh, you know, the key observation is, notice there are these common factors. Um, We've got x minus 5 and, and x minus 5 in the numerator and the denominator as a factor. So what we do, um, if you look at that factor, um, x minus 5, if you set that equal to 0 and solve, we'll get x equals positive 5. And it's at this value, um, at this x value, a hole occurs. Okay, so, you know, there could be more common factors as well, you know, depending on how things factor, and then, well, you would have more holes in the graph as well. So, another way to kind of think about this, too, notice if you plug 5 in at the very beginning, if you plug 5 into the function, you would actually get 0 over 0. So, any value of x uh, that you put into a rational function that gives you 0 divided by 0, it's going to turn out that, that that produces a hole in the graph. Okay, so we know at x equals 5, uh, there's going to be a hole, but kind of the idea is what's the, you know, what's the corresponding y value of uh, where this hole exists? Well, to find the y value, so to find the y coordinate of the hole in the graph, Basically, what we do is we look at the rest of the function, x squared plus 5x, let me write it down correctly, x squared plus 5x plus 25 over x plus 5. So if we had canceled out our uh, common factors, we would be left with x squared plus 5x plus 25 over x plus 5. All we have to do is um, substitute in the x-coordinate where the hole occurs. So again, right, we factored and we said, oh, okay, there's this common factor, x minus 5 over x minus 5. Therefore, at 5, there's going to be a hole, okay? Well, what you do is get rid of the common factors and then just plug 5 into whatever's remaining. That's all we're doing, okay? That'll tell you the y-coordinate. So if we plug in 5, we would get 5 squared plus 5 times 5 plus 25 over 5 plus 5. Well, that's 25 plus 25 plus 25, which is going to be 75. 5 and 5 is 10. So that's going to be, okay, so 75 over 10, that's going to be uh, 7.5. So it says the coordinates of the hole, it says the hole will be located at 5, 7.5 on our graph.